Welcome to the Santa Susana Field Laboratory, also called SSFL. This video is designed to provide you with information about the site, its history, current activities, and environmental concerns. SSFL is a 2,850-acre site in Simi Valley where rocket engine testing and nuclear research took place. The primary chemical contaminants include a variety of solvents, primarily trichloroethylene, or TCE, metals, and petroleum hydrocarbons. Radionuclides from nuclear research activities have also impacted the area. The California Department of Toxic Substances Control is the lead regulatory agency overseeing the cleanup from these activities. There are three responsible parties for the cleanup at SSFL, as shown in this map. Boeing areas are shown in blue, the U.S. Department of Energy, or DOE, areas are shown in green, and the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, areas are shown in orange. Today, SSFL is undergoing a historic cleanup effort to address the environmental contamination. State and federal law requires DTSC to consider changes to cleanup activities in some areas to protect biological and cultural resources, while still ensuring protection of human health and the environment. There are significant cultural and biological resources at SSFL, including areas of significance for Native American tribes and endangered plants and animals. The Program Environmental Impact Report evaluated the impact of the cleanup on species with significant habitat at the site, such as the mountain lion. The impact report is used to inform decision makers and the public of any possible harm to the environment from the cleanup work. The impact report also identifies if there are measures that can be taken to lessen or avoid the negative impact from the cleanup at the site. DTSC will draft cleanup decision documents that will be shared with the public for their review during the official public comment period. The first expected decision documents are for the groundwater cleanup plans from NASA in winter 2025, followed by Boeing and then DOE. We expect the first soil decision document for Boeing in summer 2025. The release dates of the soil decision documents for NASA and DOE are still to be determined. These decision documents will continue to be released over the course of the next few years. All public input will be considered in our final decision-making process. Several soil, groundwater, and soil vapor cleanup activities at the site are already underway. DTSC issued an emergency order for the cleanup of the former Rockadine Employee Shooting Range, also known as Sage Ranch. Excavation started in June 2023 and will be completed in fall 2024. More than 1,500 truckloads of waste have been transported off-site for disposal. DTSC also issued an emergency order for the interim cleanup of the Area 1 burn pit. Excavation started in March 2024. Approximately 9,000 cubic yards of soil have been excavated, with more than 200 truckloads of non-hazardous waste transported off-site as of October 2024. To date, all soils from the cleanup have been disposed at the U.S. Ecology Facility in Idaho, which is licensed to accept these radioactive materials. Based on community input, ETSC launched a new air monitoring data web page. Starting in July 2024, air monitoring data collected during Area 1 burn pit excavation activities is posted weekly. The groundwater interim measures include the operation of four DOE groundwater extraction wells that are continually pumped during daylight hours. NASA has been conducting a long-term bedrock vapor extraction pilot study. More than 1,000 pounds of trichloroethylene, or TCE, have been removed since the study began. To ensure that residents are informed and involved in all decisions made at SSFL, DTSC holds public meetings, workshops, and site tours. We also respond to public inquiries, conduct surveys, and provide regular community updates. We have hosted listening sessions to ensure all voices are heard in educational workshops, known as Groundwater U, to support our stakeholders so they can make informed and productive comments on upcoming groundwater documents. DTSC is launching a new workshop series called Soil Smarts to focus on the soil cleanup of the NASA and DOE cleanup areas. DTSC is committed to an unprecedented soil cleanup to background levels for these areas. 
This workshop series will be an interactive learning series to help the public understand the complexity of the cleanup and engage in finding solutions to challenges together. There are many ways to stay informed and participate in the cleanup efforts at SSFL. Your input is valuable and helps to ensure that the cleanup is conducted in a transparent and accountable manner. Thank you for your interest in SSFL, and we encourage you to stay informed and involved in the cleanup process. Please contact us with any questions or comments using our new interactive tool, Stream. SSFL is an important part of California's history and future. While its past may be marked by challenges, its future is filled with promise. By working together, we can ensure that Santa Susana Field Lab is cleaned up responsibly and safely, preserving the environment for generations to come.